वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वेल ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिराइव टेबल एंड आई विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल द यूज केसेस ऑफ द डिराइव टेबल एंड ऑल्सो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन फिल्टर द डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू हाउ वी कैन रिमूव द डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू डेट विल बी आई विल डिस्कस इन द वीडियो नंबर फोर्टी वन बट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द ऑल्सो द अल्टरनेट वे ऑफ द Uh, how we can find the nth highest salary uh, so uh, if you didn't get a chance uh, please watch the uh, ranking function uh, which is i already covered in this uh, video series and also you can watch the uh, sub query because the derived table is the part of the sub query and uh, i will discuss uh, how we can use the derived table so uh, let's jump to the management studio and uh, learn what is the derived table is there so basically the name the name seems the derived okay so uh, it is the just a deriving uh, and uh, this is the not and uh, we creating the table something is there uh, but we deriving a table by using the query so uh, for example if you have retrieved the any of the data by using the any of the table the common syntax is we writing here select star form Uh, table name okay so when we execute this one uh, you will get an information of all the information of the from the table now instead of the table name if you writing this sub part of the query sub part of the code okay so this is the called a uh, derived table okay so let me uh, uh, put here the example so here we have the select star from uh, table name but instead of the table name we we need to write if you writing the any query this is the called the derived table and don't confuse this is the related to something table was there okay and uh, one more important concept from the derived table is a derived table will required always the alias name okay so uh, if you remove the alias name here k and if you try to execute this part of the code Uh, you will get an error that this is the incorrect syntax okay so uh, the derived table is always uh, uh, required the alias name so uh, i'm going to discuss here uh, one uh, important huge cases of this uh, derived table uh, that is the uh, find the nth highest salary so i already discuss in the uh, ranking function uh, how you can find the rank and i also provided uh, one uh, video is available in this series that uh, how you can find the nth highest salary uh, by using the temporary table okay so uh, but uh, if you attend the interview uh, the interviewer will ask you the question uh, how we can achieve in different way uh, is there an, any alternate way uh, we can achieve then you can use the uh, derived table concept okay so Uh, i'm just writing here select star from and uh, i'm putting the select dense rank uh, which is the basically used the h function for the uh, ranking and uh, i use the order by clause rank and uh, emp salary so uh, basically uh, what they if you execute the this part of the code uh, from the table uh, they basically giving the uh, ranking okay so you can see a uh, rank is coming so whatever the duplicate value have the we have the same rank uh, whatever the duplicate value have the same rank so like this they given the rank but if you have the requirement to find the second highest salary third highest salary fourth highest salary so just you can put the uh, k dot rank is equal to 1 okay so uh, k dot rank is equal to 3 uh, so you will get the third highest salary and uh, sometimes the interviewer will ask you the question that uh, find the nth highest salary in single query okay so uh, then you can use the uh, derived table concept okay so derived table is the basically part of the uh, sub query okay so we can use in the single line code example now the next is the uh, we have this uh, uh, filter duplicate value okay so filter duplicate value is a very important concept uh, for the uh, working point of view and uh, uh, also uh, for the uh, if you uh, interview point of view definitely they will ask you the question related to uh, how you can filter the duplicate value how you can remove the duplicate value 
so uh, like this type of the question so i have one table okay so uh, employee salary table is there so you can see uh, we have this some couple of the duplicate data is there uh, each and every record uh, so suppose if you have the requirement to find the uh, distinct value simply you can use the distinct keyword okay so but if you are attending the interview uh, they will ask you the question uh, just for the understanding purpose they have the alternate way or not or not so the most common question that uh, how we can find the distinct value uh, without using the distinct keyword and uh, uh, this is a very interview interesting question okay and definitely you will get this type of the question uh, how we can find the duplicate value uh, without using the uh, how we can find the distinct value uh, without using the distinct keyword so i'm just going to show you uh, how we can achieve this requirement uh, so uh, we already learned okay so uh, the door number function okay so why i discuss that each and every uh, concept in the sql is very important because uh, you not you don't know when any of the function when they required okay so i already dis discuss about the row number function so a uh, row number function is basically generating the numbering uh, 1 to 3 uh, based on the whatever the criteria is provided and uh, i also discuss about the uh, partition by clause uh, which is the use for the partition in the ranking function so here i'm just giving the partition the all the column name so i'm i'm including all the column name from the employee salary table like employee ID name salary department id so if you give the partition by so each each uh, duplicate each value they will give the one uh, ranking okay so uh, i use the row number function what partition by employee ID name salary department id employee id so if you execute this inner query let execute first the inner query so you can see uh, this ranking is coming one two three so this duplicate value they giving the one two three so this is the one 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 and one is coming the reason is uh, this is the uniqueness okay because the name is different but if you talk about the employee id three uh, you can see again one two three is coming so uh, whatever the rank one is there okay so this is the original value and two uh, greater than one whatever the value is there that is the duplicate value is there okay so uh, if you if they ask you the question how we can find the distinct value uh, without using the distinct keyword just simply use the k dot rank okay k is nothing but this alias name okay so k dot whatever the column is there rank is equal to one so you will get this type of the uh, only distinct value so you can see there is no duplicate value is there okay so you can see there is no uh, duplicate value is there but if you want to find the uh, uh, and just the opposite uh, what how you can find the which value is the duplicate so just you can put the uh, greater than one okay so if you put the uh, greater than one so you will get the uh, all the value which is the duplicate and this value need to be removed from the table okay so how we can remove the duplicate value uh, from the table that i will discuss into the uh, next video uh, that is the video number uh, 41 uh, how we can remove the duplicate value okay so uh, thank you so much for watching this video i uh, will meet in again in next video thank you so much